Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and implement a route that's going to help us to retrieve one order by its ID. So if I look into our mini documentation right here, that order that order route is the slash orders slash orders slash order ID route. So what I'm going to do is to implement this route. So I'm going to head over to our order routes. And the first thing I'm going to do is to create this route. So I'll say at auth router so this is going to be auth router then we shall say this is going to have a method of get and we're going to specify that our route is going to be slash order slash the id of that specific order so what i'm going to do is pass in the id so also going to form our view function so our view function is going to be a sync dev and then this is going to be a get uh, order so I'm going to say get order by ID so I'll call this get order by ID then we shall pass in that ID which is going to be an integer so our ID is going to be an integer and the next thing we're going to do is protect this route so we shall provide the authorization dependency so I'll say it's going to be authorized actually this is going to be authorized and then it's going to be of type auth JWT and then we shall say that this is equal to depends so right after doing this, I'm going to come and I'm going to come right here. And what I'll do is to to try to uh, protect this route so that we can only access it using a JWT. So to do that, I'm going to come and say try. And then what I'll do is to say this is going to be authorize dot JWT. It's going to say required. And right after doing this, we're going to also accept any exception as E. So we're going to say accept, and we're going to accept any exception. So we are going to come right here and say accept exception as E. And what we shall do is to raise. So we're going to raise uh, an HTTP exception. So this is going to be HTTP exception so this is going to have a status code so we're going to specify a status code a status code is going to be status dot http in this case it's going to be 401 uh, and authorized so we're going to say this is going to be unauthorized and uh, the next thing we're going to also provide here is going to be our detail so in this case our detail is going to be equal to invalid token so in this case a user has provided an invalid token or they haven't provided a token and they're trying to access the route so i'll say in this case we're going to have our so this is going to be invalid token as the error that we're going to produce so the next thing we're going to do is to get the current user who is making this request so right now since we are using jwt we can access the current user who has sent this request by uh, getting their identity from the JWT. So to do that, I'm going to create a variable called user and then this user is going to have the identity of that JWT. So we're going to say JWT.get and in this case we're going to get the JWT uh, <coughs> subject. So right after getting the JWT subject, we're going to query for that user with a specific username that is that of the JWT subject. So we're going to call this the current user. And this current user is going to be uh, an object of type user. So what we're going to do is to query. So we shall say session dot query. And then we're going to pass in our user ob user model. Then we're going to filter. So I'll say filter. And then we shall filter for the username that is equal to the JWT subject. So we shall say it's going to be user.username equal to. So in this case, we're going to call this user the JWT subject. Then you want to get the first object that has that specific uh, that specific username. So what you want to check for is that if this current user is a super user, because within our documentation here, we have that route being executed by only a super user. So what I'm going to do is to come right here and I'll say if current user. So in this case, we're going to say if current user dot is. So we have that dot is staff attribute that specifies whether this is a super user or not. So what we shall do is to actually uh, make a request for that order. We're going to query for this order from that database. So we are going to say order is going to be equal to session dot query. Dot. So in this case, we're going to specify our order model and then we're going to find that specific order with the ID. So we shall say dot filter 
and then right in here we're going to say uh order dot id equals to the id that we've specified then we want to get the first object so we shall say it's going to be dot first and right after doing this we are going to simply return this with a json encoder so what i'll do is to say return and in this case we are going to say a json encoder uh, we shall pass in the order so i'll say it's going to be the order so if in case we do not uh return uh the order or the user is not a staff member what we want to do is to raise an exception that's going to show the user that this is not a super user and therefore they cannot carry out that request so what i'll do is to come right here i need to copy this and simply paste it here so we're going to change a few things so we're going to leave the status code as 401 unauthorized and in the detail in this case we are going to say that uh user not allowed to uh, carry out the request since they do not have administrative privileges so i need to save this and when i save this we're going to try this out so i have my insomnia right here I'm going to go ahead and create this request. So I'm going to create a new request. And I'm going to say get uh, order by ID. So um, this is going to be a get request. I'm just simply going to come here and say create. And right here, what I'll do is to provide the URL. So this is going to be localhost 8000 slash orders slash orders. And we're going to pass in uh, the ID of the order. So in this case, we're going to query for the one with an ID of one, which is an integer. So the first thing I'll do is to provide the header. So I'll provide the authorization header. So in this case, I mean, say it's going to be authorization. And then I'm going to come right here and then I provide bearer. I'm going to go to the login route and generate a new token. So I'm going to go to login. I'm going to make a request. So this is taking long. Let's see what's up. Hoping that the server is running. So if I head over to, uh, so right now we have uh, an error right here. So let me try to actually fix it. So I'm going to first close this. So the error we are having is this. So if I fix it, our server is going to reload. Actually, let me restart the server. Let's stop the server with Control C, and then try to run it again. So right now we see that auth router, actually this was supposed to be order router, sorry for that. So I'm going to come right here and this is going to be our order router. So if I save, our server is going to reload. And now we don't have any errors. So if I head over to our insomnia and try to make this request one more time. So right now we see that we have got an access token. So I'm going to copy this access token and then go to the get order by ID route. So I'll paste it in with a bearer. And then what we'll do is send the request. So in this case, we see that we've got a order with that specific ID. So in this video, we've been able to see how to retrieve that order with a specific ID. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.